The remaining years of Anna's life were spent quietly on the farm that she and her husband owned, mostly away from the limelight. She had joined a local Baptist church in 1877, and attended services with her husband on a Sunday. The pew in which they sat had to be enlarged and modified so they could sit comfortably. Anna sometimes taught Sunday school there. Anna Swan died of consumption, tuberculosis, at her home on August 5, 1888 just one day before her 42nd birthday. She succumbed to heart failure after struggling with a thyroid goiter for some time previously. After his wife's death, Captain Bates wired Cleveland, Ohio, for a coffin. A standard size coffin was sent as they believed that the wire was a mistake. Furious about this, he contacted them again to say that his first wire was correct. The funeral had to be delayed as it took the coffin three further days to arrive. Anna, Martin and their children are buried in Mound Hill Cemetery in Seville, Ohio. Nearby is Anna's sister Maggie who died from tuberculosis in the spring of 1875, aged 22.